This is the Speedy B F405. And this is a great flight controller. It is feature packed at a great value. It comes with an SD card reader in the back. A lot of people picked up this flight controller and one of the things you might be frustrated with is the SD card reader doesn't seem to work right. Well, it's not Speedy B's fault. There's a little bit of a bug in Betaflight 4.3 and 4.3.1 that is fixed up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download the fix and get it installed on this flight controller and any other flight controller that has an SD card reader because the bug affects all flight controllers with SD card readers. So when I got this flight controller and was testing it before I made my video, I noticed this issue with the data flash and I noticed how it was in 4.3, but not in 4.2. I didn't mention it in my video because I did make this issue request right here and it got sorted out pretty quick. However, that is in for a maintenance release of Betaflight 4.3.2, which I'm not sure is gonna give you a release or not. And the fix is in Betaflight 4.4, which if you're interested in checking out Betaflight 4.4, check out the links below. I have a full playlist series for my patrons that goes through how to flash it and some of the new features in the firmware. But as time is passing, I'm seeing more people, you know, having issues and struggling with this a little bit, which doesn't need to be. So I went ahead and made some custom builds of the maintenance edition of Betaflight 4.3.2, which is just has not yet been released. And those builds are here. I'm gonna drop a link down below where I'm gonna host those on my Google Drive account for now. Obviously when Betaflight 4.4 or 4.3.2 maintenance release comes out, you won't need these anymore. But in the meantime, you might be able to alleviate some frustrations. So let's show you how to flash these up. So the first thing you wanna do is hook up your flight controller of choice. In this case, it is that SpeedyB and you're gonna to wanna to connect to it with the beta flight configurator. You're gonna go up to the top here and you're gonna take note of this STM number. So this is an STM 32F405 MCU on this flight controller. After that, you'll go into the link I have down below where you can download these and you can see that I will want to grab the corresponding one. So you're gonna right click on that and hit download. Before flashing, I would recommend going into the presets page and go ahead and hit save backup and then just save this backup file of the current setup on your flight controller to somewhere on your computer. Uh, it doesn't matter where you save it. You can see I have a couple saved here. You could say maybe after, you know, you could say before flash to four point. That's good enough. <laughs> now you're gonna go into the flashing page and make sure you hit auto detect and whatever flight controller you that you have your SD card uh, support for, make sure that Target shows up right here. Again, I'm on the Speedy B F405 V3 that I have. And uh, yeah, now just again, once Betaflight 4.3.2 comes out, if it does come out, or if you go on to Betaflight 4.4, you won't need these, of course. Uh, this fix is already in there. But in the meantime, um, you can see as high as we can go is 4.3.1. So what we'll do now is right here, hit load local file and then browse out to where you downloaded that file from your computer. Obviously, I mean to your computer. Click that, and then again, make sure that this is set to your target up here because this is where it will get the custom configuration from online. It tells it which one that needs to download online uh, to get that custom defaults uh, set up for this flight, specific flight controller. Make sure to click on full chip erase and then hit flash firmware. Once it reboots itself, go ahead and hit connect, apply custom defaults, click close on that, go into presets, and then hit load backup, and then select that backup file you just made. It's the same uh, release uh, major number, so there's not gonna be any big changes there. So you should just be able to uh, click that file and load it right back up without any worries and no, no issues. Okay, well that's it. Pretty sweet and simple. Hopefully that helps alleviate some frustrations out there until 4.3.2 or 4.4 comes out. If you are interested in 4.4 and checking that out, again, links down below to that playlist, that Patreon playlist that I have going. Thanks everybody, and I hope this helps.